thought we'd take a little break from the uh, boil testing right now and do a comparison among all four stoves on burn time. So this is, the, of course, the Trangia. This is the plain stove. This is the stove with the fiberglass wick. And then this is the carbon fiber felt stove that we've talked so much about already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an ounce of heat into each one of them. Try to light them all as fast as I can so it's about the same time. I'll have a timer going. And we'll try to see two things. One, which stove burns longest. Two, which one blooms fastest. And so we'll have timing on all of those as well. Take me a second to get everything set up and then we'll see how it goes. So I've put an ounce of heat into the Trangia, the plain soda can stove, the soda can stove with the fiberglass wick, and the soda can stove with the carbon felt wick. And I'm going to light these as quick as I can, start the timer, and then we'll see which one blooms fastest and which one burns longest. And we'll start right now. Okay, the fiberglass wick stove is already starting to bloom, and the Trangia has already bloomed. The plain stove is almost there. It is now. The fiberglass stove is taking its time to get started. And it looks like it is finally bloomed. So we've been going on for about five minutes now. And if you'll notice, the fiberglass wick stove, the flames are starting to die out. And so this stove burns an ounce of heat the fastest. And we'll call that done at 5 minutes, 30 seconds. 5 minutes, 30 seconds for the fiberglass wick stove to use up one ounce of heat. Now, if you'll notice, the plain stove is now starting to go out. And we'll call that six minutes. So about 30 seconds longer on the plain stove with no wick. Okay, the Trangia is starting to burn out now. The flames are dying down. And so is the carbon felt stove. It'll be interesting to see which one goes out first. And we'll say 7 minutes 55 seconds for the carbon felt stove. In the Trangia. eight minutes, 22 seconds, and we'll call that done. I'll be back with some final thoughts.
Okay, so I hope that was interesting. Uh, obviously, I think we can see that the these two stoves here, the plain stove and the fiberglass wick stove, burned out the fastest, probably also burned the hottest. They certainly had the highest flame of all of them. Uh, the fiberglass stove seemed to light up the fastest, followed by uh, the Trangia, the plain stove, and then lastly, the carbon felt stove. Um, the Trangia and the carbon felt stove basically ran about the same time, within a few seconds of each other to burn out. Um, and that's always kind of tricky because where do you say it's done? Is it done when the when the jets aren't lit anymore, or is it when the last little bit of flame goes out in the reservoir? But compared to the other two soda can stoves, the carbon felt stove burned quite a bit longer. And I have some thoughts as to why that might be. The carbon felt is much more absorbent than the uh, fiberglass wick. Consequently, there is always some heat in the reservoir of these stoves until it's completely burned out, and pretty much the same with the Trangia. But the carbon felt stove, that reservoir burns dry about halfway through, and now it's no longer co having combustion in the center there, it's all through the jets because the wick has absorbed all of the heat. Um, and that, I believe, makes it burn a little more efficiently, if you will. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the flame height on the carbon felt stove was also about half as high as the plain stove and the fiberglass wick stove. Um, and that, I think, is also an indication of primarily the combustion is happening through the absorbed heat in the wick. What does that all mean? Well, we'll find out with the boil testing, but my expectation is that we'll find that the boil time on the carbon felt stove is longer, takes longer to get it that hot than it will with these two. These two will probably burn more heat than the carbon felt stove. But we'll see if that bears out in testing or not. So if you're finding this interesting, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. Thanks. I'll see you again. Sailor M591 here. Bye.